Hi, my name is Ming Yao, and this is the first video in my PCB Warpers Analysis series. I'll be using the Novena Open Hardware Computing Platform as an example because it's a nice model with many, many components and fairly realistic for a PCB board we see in the industry today. Alright, so this is our mechanical CAD. I'm also going to bring in my electrical CAD, which is in this case in the form of a ODB++ uh, TGZ format. The electrical CAD will have the layers split up for the PCB. This allows to perform trace mapping, which is the mapping of different material properties on each element, each layer, to properly represent the amount of copper versus uh, effort for there is for this PCB board. Okay. So this is what we have right now. We have my mechanical CAD and a PCB board that's all single layer and my electrical CAD with each of the PCB layers split up. So I'm going to move my mechanical CAD up to the, to the electrical CAD data to align the two. Then I'm going to slice out the, uh, the mechanical CAD so we have the right number of layers. On the PCB side, I have some components modeled. Those are not needed because I have the actual components. So let's go ahead and move this. I'm going to anchor the origin on the bottom of the face. I'm going to move it up to the bottom layer of my CAD data. And let's uh, hide everything else. Show all. These are all the components on the mechanical CAD side. So now I see my mechanical CAD and my layered ECAD data all overlapping each other. The mechanical CAD has these holes, the ECAD data does not. The holes I need for support later on. So I'm going to use the a Boolean operation to say I'm going to. the mechanical CAD and use the PCB CAD to uh, do some intersecting. They did not intersect all of it. It did have an error because there were some areas that weren't intersected, but it, does, it was successful in cutting up my mechanical CAD into multiple layers. So now I can throw away the CAD data. On the mechanical side, you can see that each layer is now properly represented. And for meshing purposes, I want to ensure that they do share topology, which will ensure that the mesh will be conformal across all the layers. Looking at this model, most of the components came in cleanly. There's one component here, which is transparent. Transparent is basically in the case that this part came in as a shell, not a solid, so a series of surfaces. Let's locate this in the, in the tree here. So that's our part here. It's all made of shells, and um, we could sew it together and try to get a solid out of it, but this is a fairly complex component that has some issues when you sew it together, so I'm going to delete this as well. Just for the sake of simplifying the model. So now my model is looking pretty good. One of the things that we all, almost always need to do on PCB assemblies is to clean up the geometry and get rid of some of these smaller features. Uh, we're always trying to reduce the mesh count so the simulation runs quickly. At the same time, these small features tend to cause my mesh count to increase. So the first thing we can do is um, let's hide everything else and we can start doing a little bit of geometry cleanup. So we have a large number of little pins or feet here, I'm going to select all of them and use the fill tool. Fill tool allows us to get rid of geometry that we don't like. Okay, so that's been cleaned up. Uh, we have some additional features in the front that could also increase the mesh count. So I'm going to box select a region and fill this in, as well as 
has uh, this feature here. You can do multiple ones at the same time, or you can do a few at a time. Now we can try to fill in this area here. Okay, so that's much easier. We'll just get rid of the whole thing and make it a solid block here. So you can do this for the rest of the parts as well. There are a few more parts that could use some uh, defeaturing. For example, this component here, maybe here we have another piece here that could use some simplification. So let's try to do this. Okay, so the other thing is that there are many, many components that there are various capacitors, resistors, and surface mounted components that won't add significantly to the mass or the stiffness of the system. So I'm going to select all of them based on one selection. So let's say we select everything that's under 1.41 millimeters. Select the 725 bodies, and I'll hit the delete key, and they're all removed. So now our simulation is almost ready for analysis. Let's just take a quick look at the model to ensure that we have a, a model that's ready for simulation. Okay, so this part has been cleaned up as well. Now we can go ahead and start our analysis. Save this. And go to the workbench tab. Start. And this is workbench 18.4. 